This video is sponsored by Brilliant.org. Be one of the first 200 people to sign up with the link in the description and save 20% on your subscription today. Here's a question for you. The world is in the midst of World War II and you're a mechanic, preparing planes for the brave pilots who engage in air-to-air -air combat for the Allied forces. You notice that most of the planes, planes flown by your friends and comrades, come back to base with bullet holes in the wing, fewer in the cockpit, fewer still in the tail, and almost none in the engine. To minimize the odds that your pilots are lost in battle, where should you focus on reinforcing the plane? Before we look at the odds of taking on fatal gunfire, let's go through a few other interesting and unlikely ways to die. We'll start with the least likely death on the list. Getting hit by an asteroid isn't typically something we worry about on a daily basis, but it is technically a possibility. Based on the long-term average risk of all near-Earth object collisions, your odds of being struck and killed by an asteroid on any given day are 1 in 74,817,414. Just by looking at that number compared to the current population of the planet, you might think that 91 people die from asteroid impacts every year, but thankfully that's not the case. It's simply an actuarial figure based on the fact that a single asteroid impact would likely kill more than one person. Okay, 75 million to 1 doesn't sound so bad. Let's move to something a little more likely. Your odds of dying in a freak firework accident are 1 in 50,729,141. Every year on the 4th of July, thousands of Americans go out and make stupid decisions with store-bought explosives. In 2016, there were a reported 11,000 fireworks-related injuries and 4 deaths. So before you go out and buy a $200 backyard bunker buster, consider whether you want to end up as part of that embarrassing statistic. Next involves a personal fear of mine, bees and wasps. The odds of dying from a wasp or bee sting are 1 in 25,364,571. The reactions to wasp and bee stings can vary widely. One person could be stung a dozen times and simply take a Benadryl to feel better, whereas another person could be stung once and go into cardiac arrest. Every year on average, nearly 100 deaths are caused by bee and wasp stings in the US alone. Luckily for most people, experts claim that the average adult can safely withstand over 1,000 bee stings, as awful as that would be to experience. About twice as likely as dying from a bee sting is another common fear, dying in a plane crash. At roughly 1 in 11 million, the odds are still very much in your favor, but that doesn't stop most people from getting a little fidgety in turbulent weather. On average, plane crashes around the world kill about 1,300 people per year, with young men being the most likely to survive, and an additional 12% of survivors dying from shock later. That's a comforting thought. Even if you do survive a plane crash, you still have to escape a second statistic. Only slightly more likely than dying in a plane crash is being struck and killed by lightning, at 10 million to 1 odds. This could be a reassuring thought for nervous flyers, because most people use struck by lightning as the gold standard of unlikeliness. Even with that reputation, lightning strikes do claim a handful of lives each year. In 2016, 39 people were killed by lightning strikes in the US alone, and 14 so far in 2017. If you're a male, you should be about four times as concerned as your female counterparts, as statistically, men are killed by lightning about four times as often as women. Twice as likely as dying from being struck by lightning is being scalded to death by hot water, at 5 million to 1 odds. Hot water is so high on this list because it doesn't look inherently dangerous, especially to young children. Every year, hundreds of people die from serious scalding, with an average of 150 deaths per year in Japan alone. At 4,400,000 to 1 odds, this next risk is probably not one that's ever crossed your mind. Every single year, over 2,500 left-handed people around the world are killed from using equipment meant for right-handed people. As strange as that sounds, it makes a lot of sense. Most power tools have safety precautions built into one side, often the side most accessible to right-handed people, as most people are right-handed. If you really want to know, the most common culprit is the right-handed power saw. Jumping forward a bit into the realm of more likely scenarios, your odds of dying in a train crash are about 500,000 to 1. This could be reassuring to frequent flyers and somewhat off-putting to train commuters, as most people don't think about dying on the train as much as they do aboard an airplane. But it's a stark difference. 
In 2016, there were only 19 fatal air travel incidents, claiming a total of 325 lives, versus 2,025 train crashes, which admittedly did result in slightly fewer fatalities at 265 people. If we're going to talk about vehicle-related accidents, we can't leave out your everyday traffic collision. Driving in a car, something most of us do every day without thought, is by far the most likely way to get yourself killed out of all modern forms of transportation, with odds of 8,000 to 1. The current world average stands at 1.3 million road deaths per year, or almost 3,300 deaths every single day. With statistics like that, suddenly getting struck by lightning or dying in a plane crash seem a whole lot less likely. As for the question from the beginning of the video, if most planes come back undamaged in the engine, it is not a signal that engine hits are an unlikely way to bring down a plane. Quite the opposite, it shows that almost none of the planes that take fire on the engine can make it back to base. This is a classic application of conditional probability, and a phenomenon called survivorship bias. When we only look at success stories, we are mistaking the rare for the typical, and as a result make incorrect estimates for the likelihood of rare events. I came across this question when exploring today's sponsor, Brilliant.org. Brilliant takes an interesting scenario like our airplane question, deconstructs it into various parts, explains the relevant concepts, and allows you to apply what you know to reach a fascinating conclusion. It's an amazing concept because even if you're not great at math or physics, Brilliant teaches you how to think like a physicist or a mathematician, and they help you along the way by progressing you from easy to more challenging scenarios. If you, like me from 12 hours ago, want to know more about scenarios like this, check out Brilliant.org's Intro to Probability. Discover this and lots more by going to Brilliant.org slash Second Thought, which will let them know you're eager to learn more. Everyone who clicks on this link can sign up for free and explore the first chapter. For those who want a deeper dive into these engaging courses, the first 200 people that subscribe will get a 20% discount, so make sure to check out Brilliant.org at the link below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with the latest content, and click the little bell next to my channel name to be notified every time I release a new video. You can click here to watch my other videos, or for something completely different, you can click here to visit my new gaming channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.